So how did we get to this thousand PSI? Like why are people thinking that that's, it's like how did we get there? Do you know, Ken? If you have too high of PSI, I think being called as a number one uh, task for pressure washer and the doubt if you get too high of a PSI, it might damage the paint of the, the car. And I think that's how, I don't know exactly how they come up with, but, but that's, the, that's, the, that's a thousand PSI is good for car wash. It's safe for car wash. Mm. And that's how this a thousand PSI came about. Why people are desiring? Why do people want it? Yeah, why, why did they desire a thousand PSI? I think it's just, like Ken said, I think it's the, I think it's been the highest PSI without damaging the car, right? I yeah. think. And also with most entry-level pressure washers, what happens is they're rated at a higher pressure, but what ha uh, and like very little flow, so you really can't rinse the car out. So if you like dial down the pressure, obviously you get a decent amount of flow, which helps with rinsing and helps with uh, generating a decent amount of foam when it comes to uh, foam in the car. So that's where I guess that whole sweet spot came and a lot of noise uh, on social media and different YouTube reviews talking about the importance of having that sweet spot is uh, why I guess people really want it now. And then uh, Rich Long, his personal preference is 13 to 14 uh, hundred PSI. So, I think the ideal scenario is that you could get super high PSI and super high GPM and then be able to control both depending on what you need, right? So for sure, higher PSI will be able to, let's say, get rid of stains or something on a deck better than a thousand PSI. But because of the way pressure washes are designed, you're always going to get less flow if you want higher pressure. That's just like a... It's just a technical fact. So I think it's finding the balance between the optimal flow and pressure. And then there's something called impact force, right? Where there's kind of like an optimal, um, there's an optimal point of pressure and flow that creates the largest impact on any surface. And that's calculated by a thing called impact force, which we can get into in another video. But um, 1300 PSI at like, at you know, 0.7 GPM is not going to give you any type of good cleaning unless you're really just focusing on a very narrow spot. So it is always about finding that compromise and balance. Would that be right, guys? Yeah. I mean, I think we could easily do a pressure washer that was 13, 14, 1500 actual PSI, but the, flow would, but the flow would be super small. So you'd have very, very little water coming out in a very concentrated uh, point. Um, which again wouldn't enable you to clean much um, or it would take you forever to clean anything and as Jude was saying take you forever to rinse anything because there just wouldn't be enough water coming out so uh, I think to get those numbers with adequate flow you have to go to a gas pressure washer especially here in North America so there you have it Rich Long uh, hopefully we answered your question and yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just ask us and a team of guys here will hopefully answer one of your questions. <laughs>